Journey of Faith is a series of five books that can be used equally effectively in personal study and devotions or in group study and reflection. Book number one is entitled Ephesians, and of course we have Ephesians in the New Testament. This is about a journey into God's secret plan. And when you read this book, prepare to climb the heights and to walk in heavenly places. The mystery of God's eternal will and long-range plan is out in the open. Everything in the deepest heaven and planet earth is to be brought together under Christ. God's grace is lavished upon us through Christ Jesus. That's book number one. Book number two is entitled Messiah Jesus. And this is a journey that has changed the world. The journey of faith is planned by God. The star is his only son, Jesus. He became one of us. He died to save us. Hallelujah. And he lives to lead us on. So follow, follow Jesus. And my question is, to those who will read such a book, will you? Our genetic makeup causes us to run away. Choose to walk with God and you will have it all. Book number three is entitled The Last Days. And this is a journey of Pentecostal power. The clock is ticking. Our days are numbered. Live life your way or God's way. Prophecy, signs and wonders, escalation of violence and abuse, the spread of drug addiction, families at war ask, where is God? Book number four, one word title, suffering. And this is a journey of searching for God in the pain. How can a good God allow people to suffer? Where is God when it hurts? Why does God allow suffering? Or what is the purpose of suffering in the life of the believer? And finally, book number five is entitled Big Questions. Can God save creation? Where is God when it hurts? Are heaven and hell real places? What is it like to walk with God? Will a loving God, will he judge the world? Is religion all about war? Will you share your faith with others? So from the time we make Jesus our Lord and Savior until the time we will see him in our heavenly home, we are each on a journey of faith. As pilgrims, we follow the map of God's word and avoid dead ends and are equipped to deal with danger zones along the path. My prayer is, Lord, on our journey of faith, you lead, we follow. Amen. Thank you.